In the previous lesson, we learned that each letter of the English alphabet has its unique sound. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. In this video, the child will be able to call out the first five letter sounds of the English alphabet. If this is the first time watching our videos or visiting our channel, please click on the subscribe button below this video to support our channel. Thank you. There are two methods of teaching reading. One is by sight and the other is by phonics. A reading by sight is where the child is taught to read by recognizing every word that he has been taught before. In this type of reading, the child is expected to memorize as many words as he has been taught. And there are two problems with this. The first problem is there are some words that are close in structure and even in pronunciation. Such words might confuse the child when he is reading and it will make reading difficult for him. He will be getting things wrong, the words wrong. The other problem is the child can read so far as he or she remembers the word or can memorize. So new words that he or she comes across will be very difficult for him to pronounce. So the best bet is to guess the words, which most times may be wrong. Previously, whenever a child is being taught to read, after teaching the child ABC, the next thing is to teach the child two letter words. That is where there is S or so, G or go, H E he, L O lo, M E me, B Y by, M Y my. The child will have to recite all of these two letter words. And whenever he comes across it in a, a passage or a text, he's supposed to remember them and then read. That is reading by sight. Reading by phonics. This method is where the child is taught to decode words. When we say decode words, the child has been taught the relationship between letters and their sounds. And then the child is also taught blending skills. So the child has an ability to be able to pronounce words using the letter sounds relationship. And he is able to blend the sounds of the letters to pronounce the word. With this type of reading, the child is equipped to pronounce new words that he or she has not come across before by blending the sounds. Now, this is also good just that sometimes the child will be pronouncing the word wrongly by following the phonic rules. We cannot say one method of reading is better than the other method. We have to apply both methods in appropriate ways. Each of the 26 letters of the English alphabet has a letter name and a letter sound. We want to place emphasis on the sound in this method of teaching reading. The letter sound is used when reading words. It is very important for the child to learn the letter sound relationship when the child is learning how to read. Let's start by that. These are the sounds for the first five alphabets. A B K D E These are the first five sounds of the English alphabet. I want to repeat. A as in apple, b as in bell, k as in cat, d as in dog, e as in egg. Pronouncing letter sounds accurately helps to start reading with ease. This is a fun activity. We want you to get the attention of the child and liberate a short phrase. Ask the child to guess what you said by reading your lips. Liberate, you can read. Ask the child to guess what you said. 
award any gift if it is necessary. This is for tutors only. Some children may confuse the English letter sounds with the local, that is the fancy or tree sounds. This confusion may create difficulties in reading by phonics. For example, the letter E sound as E in English word. Example is egg. But sounds as A in fancy word. An example is Ediban. Ediban. It is important to be aware and pronounce the English letter sounds accurately yourself before you teach them to the child. We have developed a lesson plan for this lesson that you can download for free. The link is in the description below. Well, that's it for today. If you want us to be making more videos like this one, let us know in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.